Meanwhile, Zoram's People Movement founder Laldu Amma also echoed similar views that the border dispute can be resolved only through boundary demarcation notification of 1875 and not the 1933 notification as done during the British rule. Speaking to North East Life, he further added, if the border issue is not solved, Mizoram will be compelled to approach the UN. Besides, Lal Duwama said Mizoram is ready for dialogues to find a lasting solution to the border dispute. Boundary, the vernacular boundary of 1875, well, the stand of Assam is that of the colonial boundary 1933. This needs to be resolved. If this boundary dispute is allowed to go on and on and resolve, we may not have any other alternative. We will be compelled to go to the UNO and the International Court of Justice. And this will become an international issue. In spite of all these things, we are open for a mutual dialogue to arrive at a lasting solution. This is a high time to resolve. And well, earlier on Saturday, veteran Congress leader and former Mizoram Chief Minister Lal Than Haula said that the Mizoram government will be compelled to retaliate appropriately if there is fresh provocation from the Assam side. Notably, this is the first major reaction of the opposition Congress in Mizoram on the recent violence along the Assam-Mizoram border. The uh, our government or the armed forces are provoked, they should also reply, if, uh, give back a fitting reply. If at all, they are provoked. Even in the last incident, uh, the provocation come from the other side. Had it not been uh, uh, provocation from the, uh, from the other side, no such uh, untoward incident would have happened because Mizos are peace-loving people. Well, stating that everyone is free to have an opinion, Lal Than Haula said he is ready to extend his support to the ruling MNF during times of crisis. This, uh, everybody is free to have his own you know, opinion. Uh, whether it's 1875 or whatever, uh, everybody has uh, is free and uh, to have his own opinion. They can voice uh, their opinion. And whatever is good for, the, for Mizoram, I'm all for them. And I support them. Even if uh, own government, MNF government, uh, when they do right thing for Mizoram and for the Mizor people, I uh, give them my humble support, even though I'm nobody now, but then I give them my support. Well, talking exclusively to our Mizoram correspondent from Aizol, Isaac Zorab Sangha, Lal Than Haula said it would be unfair to blame the centre for the lingering Assam-Mizoram border dispute because the issue is difficult, one to be handled. He further added that it is not an easy task to settle border disputes anywhere in the country. I don't think central government can be directly blamed uh, for this because uh, it is not easy to settle a uh, border dispute, whether it is in the northeast or anywhere else in the country. These are all long pending issues between many states, and this uh, problem is just one of them. And also, Assam being the mother state here, it has a border problem with all the, almost all the neighboring states, whether it's Meghalaya, Mizoram, or Nagaland, or Arunachal. They have uh, at least some misunderstanding in, in, in so far as the border is concerned. Therefore, the central government cannot be directly blamed or are not, central government is not directly responsible uh, for this. Well, terming the entire incident as unfortunate, Lal Than Haula alleged the recent violence along the interstate border was an outcome of the provocation from the Assam side. 
He further alleged that Assam Chief Minister Himanta Bishu Sharma was indulging in provocative tactics. In any case, such incident is uh, always very unfortunate, whether it is between two persons or two neighbors or uh, territories. I say the problem is, in this case, the Mizowire Battalion stationed there are provoked by, from, provoked from the other side, and they had to fire in self-defense. Unfortunately, the Honourable Chief Minister of Assam has been levelling many things against the Mizos and the uh, IR Battalion. This have been done by a Chief Minister of a State because that they are, all his allegations are very provocative. And as far as I could see and as far as I know, the violent people wanted to safeguard their own territory. And this, uh, some people, they took strong objection to the violent people. Such things should not have been done by the, yeah, some people because this is a very provocative act. Well, not just this, Lalton Haula said that Mizoram is already in a geographically complicated location sandwiched by two foreign countries, namely Myanmar and Bangladesh. And as such, Assam should be helping Mizoram in times of necessity since all northeastern states are dependent on each other. See, we are in, uh, Mizoram is in the extreme corner of the northeastern region and we are being sandwiched by two foreign countries. Uh, in, in this regard, we have uh, many problems. Now our neighboring uh, uh, Assam should not create a further problem for the Mizor people. In fact, they should have come to our rescue. What do they gain in blocking, blockading Mizor people, uh, which, uh, who are not foreigners? Why should they treat uh, us like foreigners? Yes. None, none of the states in the, in, in, the, in the country are economically independent. We are all interdependent. So we have to help in the, each other in times of necessity. Now, instead of helping us, why should they block, uh, blockade the uh, <clears throat> lifeline of Mizoram, uh, Mizo people? In fact, even without uh, being reported to the central government, central government should have uh, interfered and clear all these things immediately as, uh, as and when they learn about this. The veteran Congress leader also condoled the death of six policemen and one civilian who were killed during the interstate border clash on July 26. Very, very sorry for the death, loss of lives, uh, whether it is uh, on their side or on our side. On our side, also some civilians are injured. And in the same way, in the firing, that have been provoked from the other side. Unfortunately, some policemen were killed uh, on the other side, for which I am very, very sorry, and I send my deep condolence to the bereaved family and families, and I hope the some uh, government also will certainly take care of their families.